Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look back at summer 2020 when I was working on the boat deck build. Things got pretty crazy and I started to focus on fishing more. And so I did a bunch of miscellaneous projects here and there and I wanted to show you guys those. It's that time of the year right now that ideally it'd be a good time to work on the boat. But we have so many other projects going on right now one of them being the hunting rig that we have aka our horse trailer and i'm going to do some projects on those coming up so stay tuned for that and enjoy this episode Hey guys, welcome to another Redbeard Outdoors episode and welcome to another <laughs> ultimate deck boat build. I just paired up my Minn Kota trolling motor and um, got everything working on that. So uh, let me give you guys a quick rundown on it working. It has the spot lock feature, so I'm gonna put that on right now. So we put your down. So it's going to spot lock us into place. Also, I got the uh, I got the deck padding installed, and I'm gonna give that a test today. And we're out here just for a short little mission. Uh, not much going on. Um, I'm gonna try a little fishing. I'm gonna try the universal sonar cord on the uh, Garmin up there and see if it works. So let's get going. Alright guys, let's go for a little jive with the remote and main coated trolling motor here. We're going to crank this puppy up. It's got 80 pound feet of thrust, so I think it's going to boogie. Alright, I just used the north feature and we're going straight in the direction we were going so that's a nice feature especially when you're fishing along banks and stuff so next day after uh doing the uh, boat test i'm getting ready for a fishing trip and uh gonna give her the the full test not just the 45 minute test out on the water so i have yet to pull fish up on this deck i'm looking forward to doing that I think I'm going to go to the right lake to make that happen. So anyways, I just want to show you a couple things that I did uh, off camera to uh, make everything happen. So let's take a look. So I was having a lot of problems with this hinge and it was pushing the deck up so much that the deck was starting to bow so what i did was first i relocated the gas strut to the other side of the the framing it was over on this one right here now it's over on that one put it right there and then i put that little block spacer because it is almost the perfect location to make this gas strut work perfectly i think i still need to bring it out a couple more inches just to give the deck that little extra oomph to open because as of right now it opens and it gets a little bit hung up and i just have to push it the rest of the way open but it holds it so not a big deal the other item i did was i ended up putting my lights in here so those shut down in there no issue they need a new home, so I thought that would be a really good location for them. Um, one item I'm going to do is I'm going to line this with stickers. I know that's very, very minor, but 
I'm gonna line that with some stickers and uh, kind of give this a little bit more color. Next up, those latches are complete garbage. I should have went with a more heavier duty one from the get go, but uh, I had those and thought I'd try them out and yeah, they're complete garbage. So I got a heavier duty one. Let me show that to you. I got this heavier duty latch and it's definitely gonna get the job done way better than what those were doing. And it's going to be night and day difference to install. I'm just gonna have to tighten that up. And so that'll just screw on there. And then it has this bottom latch, which I think I can associate with the, the bottom of this lip right here. That way it goes underneath like this and locks the lid down. So this one's gonna be a night and day difference. I had to pay up for it. Um, I only bought one right now for testing purposes. I'm gonna replace that one right there. And um, hopefully this works night and day better because um, as you guys saw in a previous video, I really struggled with getting this to work, making these spacers, and then I, of course, you know, I broke this. So, uh, yeah, latches are complete garbage. I'd only recommend using those on, like, small, light-duty door lids. I'm by no means a master at doing this, and everything's kind of a trial and error process for me this is the first time i've ever tried doing something like this before so uh you run into some hiccups which i've ran into a few but um the ultimate end goal is definitely going to be worth it once i can get that all figured out and get this thing working perfectly right now it works i'm gonna go fishing with it on this this trip tomorrow so uh trolling motor is working really well let me show you what some items i had to do to the trolling motor all right, so I went through and rewired the whole um, wiring assembly, and it's hitting this 60 amp switch right here. So if I need to kill it like that, that kills it. That gives it power. And I got this heavy duty. Uh, cable eight gauge car cable type wire that feeds up to the trolling motor right there and then the trolling motor wire connects right here and then runs up to the trolling motor so i had to wire all this up quite a bit i bought new terminal connectors new wires and i got the charging wires right here uh, so I can easily hook up to that and charge which I should probably do before I go on this trip and then um, like I said that wire runs up to here and gives you trolling motor power nice thing about this trolling motor is it also has a battery tester which is telling me it's completely full which is nice and you don't have to turn the trolling motor on to check that. So when we're out on the water, this thing paired up really easily. Just wanted to get out there and test it to make sure it actually works. So nothing else new uh, that I did off camera. Um, I'm probably gonna light up these steps eventually and just do a little bit of wiring. That's gonna be a slow process in the future. Uh, I'm gonna concentrate more on fishing now rather than uh boat construction yeah it's the end of june already i've been working a lot with work covid boat build haven't been able to fish like i want to so really looking forward to getting out there and doing that all right guys i know i've talked about this before but i wanted to show it to you in action um i got the 24 volt uh battery tender charging my batteries right now so like like i showed you earlier um this port right this charging port's hooked up to the battery so i can just plug and start charging so quick easy process don't even have to open up the lid especially if it's locked or and when i'm on the road just want to show that to you guys real quick
that's a better one. Nice little 1.5, 1.75. I gotta get back out there. I took my boat on a two fishing excursions. Probably drove close to 350 miles with it. And um, almost made it home before the uh, latches to the deck decided to break. Like I mentioned in the earlier video, uh, the latches I bought are straight garbage for my application. So I forked over some more money and bought some heavy duty latches uh, to help with that problem. So let me show you how, how they broke. So yeah, straight garbage. I had to pull over, um, pull off the gas strut so the lid wouldn't fly up down the highway. So that was kind of a fun experience. I have this new latch. I've showed this to you guys before. I'm gonna go ahead and retrofit the deck to uh, to hold this because I'm getting ready to go on another trip down to Oklahoma. So I uh, wanna get these installed pretty quick. So I'm not gonna bore you too much. I'm gonna use the router uh, to make the hole a little bit bigger and put these in. I'll uh, catch back up with you here in a second. All right, guys, I got her installed. This is a way sturdier latch. And it's got a nice keyhole there. And you just turn this sideways and she pops open. So the beauty of this design right here is it perfectly works well with my wall and goes under this lip right here. So kind of got lucky on that one. So it just goes down and then twist and then close. She's in place. Still got the other one to do. Uh, I just ordered that one. It'll probably be here tomorrow. So I'll get that installed another time. Okay guys, up next, I'm gonna install a voltage meter for my trolling motor. I'm going to wire it to the switch so I can turn it on and off. So let's get that going. All right, guys, quite the wiring assembly here, but um, I got her, got her going. So let's go get her installed. Okay, so I know this is pretty jerry-rigged, but um, I got an on-off switch for that 24 volt meter. I can turn that on while I'm fishing, see how much life I have in my trolling motor batteries. And I got it all hooked up and everything's wired to the battery. So, um, I'm gonna show you what that looks like on. Okay guys, I wanted to clarify on the budget some more. Um, I'm going to update it to what is actually on the boat deck build. I have a lot of parts and pieces that aren't on there yet. They're coming down the pipeline later. Uh, the beauty of everything that I'm buying is it's getting bought in bulk for the most part. So I can use it on other projects like my uh, horse trailer project conversions. Here is the total budget so far right here. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Ultimate Boat Deck Build. I will see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And be sure to subscribe for more uh, boat deck videos in the future. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.